evening sky should be clear tonight here in Miami. It's the Phillies and the Marlins next. Now from the sunshine state of Florida, we're under the lights at the beautiful new Marlins Park. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Philadelphia Phillies and the East leading Miami Marlins. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. Steve E.K. will join us in a moment, but before he does, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies, as their order will read like this. They'll match it up against the big fella, as you see the numbers right there for the right-hander, Matt Latos. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ben Revere, the move towards the batter's boxes, we're just about set to get underway tonight. Center fielder, Ben Revere. First pitch tonight is looked at for strike one as we get underway at 7.11 p.m. E.K., you take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. It's always important to play good baseball in front of the home crowd, and they were fortunate to get this series off on the right foot in game one. They'll hope to continue their winning ways here in game number two. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3-1 and one now. Well, this is a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1. and one. And now he's really in the driver's seat to see a fastball. Here's the pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Full count offering on its way. Now he swings and hits this ball on the ground. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. And with that, we'll call up the scouting report to give you a look at the repertoire for this 27-year-old right-hander. Chris Nelson will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Now the first pitch. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. The next pitch. And he looks at a slider in there. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Oh, yeah, that one's going to sting a little bit. This pitch is coming hard in on him. And you can see he's way late getting that barrel through. So as it turns out, 
he's going to get more distance on the barrel of that bat than he does on the baseball. Chase Utley will stand in, hoping to put together a two or three hit game here as you see the numbers have fallen off a bit over these past eight ball games. Here's the first offering. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. He may not throw a ton of change ups here tonight but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are so the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance the better. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. And Colvin will put this one away and that ends the inning. Three up three down for Philadelphia. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Marlins. They'll go to work against a three time all star the former Cy Young Award winner lefty Cliff Lee. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. D. Gordon will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Leading off for the Marlins. Second baseman. Runs up to Bunt here, but this is going to kick just foul down the line. Pitch on the way. Now he reaches and hits this one hard the other way. Throw on to first in time, one away. Well, you can tell the third baseman's playing a little bit in front of the bag right here, trying to take away that bunt. Unfortunately, this ball almost takes his teeth out. The reactions had to be quick, and lucky for him, he still got them. Here's Ichiro now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. These Phillies, Eric Karros, as they enter play here tonight, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. And it's been a less than amazing start to the road trip, too. They've won just one of their first four games, so they'll be looking to turn that around here. The pitch has circle changed just a bit inside, and it's 2-0 oh now. Well, that's the importance of having veterans on your ball club. You know, a young guy might have swung at both of those first two pitches. The 2-0 to Ichiro. 3-0 and oh now. And this is just a guy that's going to be happy to take a walk, so I'm a little bit surprised that they haven't challenged him a little bit more from the mound. Here it comes, the 3-0. That's on the outer edge, 3-1. and one. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. The 3-1 homeward now from Lee. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Oh, and that's a good sign right there. They're really hoping to get him going out of that two spot. And he comes through big time right here with a first inning single. Martin Prado will get his first shot now with the runner at first following the one out single. Now here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. That's a good pitch call right there on that fastball away. That works almost like a pitch out, just in case he's thinking about it over there at first. Here's Lee now on 1 0. 
And he'll lay off here as well, and it's 2-0 to the Miami third sacker. Well, one of the real strengths of his game is that he's not going to go after a whole lot of bad pitches out of the strike zone. So he's a guy that's going to make you earn it by only swinging at strikes. 2-0 count, the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And this is knocked down over there. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Well, this isn't going to go into the scorebook as an error, but it probably does cost them the double play. He was lucky to get a handle on that thing just in time to get the out at first. Jeff Baker will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. First pitch coming. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here's the 1-0. -on. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one from Lee. In there, 1-2 and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down 1-2. and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Here comes a 1-2. Oh, got him looking at the two-seamer, and that'll end it. One left for Miami. We played an inning. No score. Darren Ruff will step in now. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Darren Ruff. Now the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. Now here's the pitch. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Ready now on one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Oh, nothing fancy, three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. The one-two. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Ryan Howard will dig in now, just hoping for something to go his way. As you can see, that has not been the case these last nine ball games. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's 1-1. One and, one. and against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. And that alone can be beneficial to an offense. The 2 1 now to Howard. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Sets the 2 2 pitch. 
And this is swung on and missed by Howard as he's prone to do occasionally set down on strikes for the second out. Well, you can see his mindset at the plate. He's thinking, I got to get out in front here, try to pull something. Didn't really get a good pitch to do that, though. She's going to have to go grab a seat. Here's the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. 276, the average coming in for him. Nine homers and 41 RBIs. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And I'll tell you, being in a two strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. Here's Latos now on 0 and 2. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. Adani Echevarria will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. First offering on the way. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Here we go. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Tyler Colvin will make his way in now. He drove in two of his club's three runs in last night's game. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. The 1-0 pitch. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hitters count 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Here he comes on 2-1. and 2-1 two, two, pitch, a circle change taken for a cold strike two. Hmm. Hard to believe he'd let that one go. I mean, that was right on a platter for him. Here comes a 2-2. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. One out, nobody on. Another 2-2 two -two offering. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Here's Lee on three and two. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. JT Real Muto get his first chance now, trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. And that misses ball one. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Here's a 1-0. -oh. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Now Lee readies the 2-0. -oh. 
And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Here comes the 2 1. Out in front of the 2 1 as this is on the ground to third. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. Miami down in order will move to the third with no score. Jeff Francoeur will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Here's the first offering. Latos back to work as he gets ahead of the first man to greet him here. Nothing and one. The pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. The one one. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And that is through into right field for a single. Batting eight. Shortstop. Freddie Galvis. Freddie Galvis will be the batter. Here's the first pitch. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. One oh on the way. No offer at the curveball either. It's two and oh. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off speed stuff. That's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. Now Latos ready, the 2-0. Runners off for second. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Valdespin has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Well, the only good news that comes out of this at-bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at-bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. Cliff Lee will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. First pitch to him. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. Throw gets him, two down. Yeah, this early in the game, to me, this is the right decision. You give that guy at the top of your lineup a chance to drive in a run with a simple base hit. Here's Ben Revere. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. He set now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. set now the pitch there's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two here's the one two that misses and we're even at two and two four pitches fast slow fast slow EK you thinking fastball here 
that seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. The guys will catch on quick. Fawns now the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two two one more time. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And he'll just slap the tag on the runner between second and third to end the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. To play two and a half, no score on the show. Jordani Valdespin makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. Here we go. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Lee Ruddy with the 0 1. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Here it comes. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there, it's short. Rough start to the home third. There's one away. Well, this is just kind of a little soft humpback liner, and these look like the easiest plays in the world, but Eric will tell you, sometimes a ball can knuckle on you a little bit. It didn't happen to him right there, and that's an easy play. Into the box, Matt Latos. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. The 1 0. Off the plate again, 2 0 now. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage, but you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3 0 to him. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. Real good lateral movement on that two seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. The 2 2 now from Lee. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And Frank Hoover will put this one away for route number two. One out away now from three full scoreless innings, and both pitchers are working both inside, outside, up and down. Looking solid here to start this ball game. D. Gordon will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First pitch on the way. And there's a fastball from Lee to start him out. It's 0-1. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. And the pitch. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Well, we haven't seen a run cross the plate yet, but we nearly had one right there. Here's another look at it. This gets all the way out to and off of the wall. And now he cruises into second with a double. Here's Ichiro now. As he'll take a look at ball one. Well, you see there on the graphic, a good job there to pick up his 16th double of the year. The 1-0. -oh. 
Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Frank Coor retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Danger averted following the two-out double. More to come from Marlins Park right after this. Chris Nelson will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Third baseman, Chris Nelson. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. 2 and 0 oh now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Now here it comes. And there's the first strike, two and one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. A 2-1 offering. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And you can see there, both guys getting it up into the 90s, 92 and 94, respectively. Chase Utley will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now the first pitch. This is past the mound and into center field for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And this guy's had his way with him so far. So maybe this is the way to change things up. Maybe go into attack mode up there. Kind of get the sense that they've been a little too passive. So this is a nice first pitch single. Darren Ruff will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Here's the first offering. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. He's ready, now the pitch. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2 0. Here's the 2-0. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Ready with the 2-1. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to 2-2 two and two now. Here now the 2-2. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Ichiro has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Ryan Howard will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. Real Muto has got it, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Martin Prado will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now 
now the first pitch. On the ground is short. And he's retired one away. Well, this is a pretty high degree of difficulty right here. It helps when you've got a strong arm to make this play. You see him do almost a pop-up slide as he fields this thing, and then from then on out, it is all arm, folks. Boy, that's very well done. Into the box now, Jeff Baker. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And this one gets past Howard down the line. It's a fair ball. The batter. Well, this ball's hit pretty well, but this is a nice play out there to play the carom off the wall and then get the ball in quickly, and that's going to hold his man to just a single. That's a nice play. Here's Echeverria now. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. From the belt, the pitch, ball one. Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. You know, that's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. The 1-1 one, one from Lee. Runner goes for second. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And Frank Hoover will put this one away for route number two. Now batting, center fielder, Tyler Colvin. Tyler Colvin will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. First offering on the way. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. All right, Tyler, let's go. Now the one oh. Now a fastball here as this is slashed the other way over the third baseman's head. A fair ball. Well, this latest dry spell, it's dropped his average all the way under 240. So he'd like nothing more than to string a few of these together and get back into some kind of rhythm of the plate. JT Real Muto get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. First pitch coming. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Come set, now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. The one one home. Right back to the outside part of the plate, but that misses as well. It's two and one. Yeah, a good job here of working himself back into a hitter's count, especially with two men on base in front of him. Here's Lee with the 2-1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two now from Lee. And he watches a called third strike on the cut fastball that time. And that will retire the side. Marlin strand a pair. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Carlos Ruiz will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Carlos Ruiz. First pitch coming. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, 
get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone, then maybe your offense can go from there. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Colvin is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. It's starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. So one away here with the bases empty, and making his way in is the right fielder, Jeff Francoeur. Here's the first offering. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Well, that's two straight flyouts here to start the inning. And if there's one thing this pitching staff knows, it's how to pitch to their ballpark. They know that the fly balls that are extra base hits elsewhere, they turn into routine outs here. Freddie Galvis will try it again. He flew out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. one 0 pitch now. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Here's the 1-1 pitch. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Now the one two. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning one two three. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order halfway home still no score. Jordani Valdespin will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a little tapper down that third base line, and this could be a tough play. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1 and 1. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself for the first down. Pitcher number 35. Matt Latos will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on its way from Lee. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Now this ball is also swung on and also hit on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there. And I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. D. Gordon will dig in. He doubled his last time. First pitch coming. And he takes ball one. Here's Lee now on one and oh. 
And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh, yeah. now. Two out, nobody on. Now Lee readies the 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. The two one. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Revere is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Cliff Lee will bat for himself here in a tie ball game in the sixth. Cliff Lee. First pitch on the way. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. On the ground towards second. And that is through into right, and not what you want to do on the mound as he allows the opposing pitcher to reach to lead off the inning. Boy, he's doing it all out there so far. Not only is he pitching a great game, but he gets in on the act offensively as well. Ben Revere will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch to him. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hits are now even at four apiece. One zero, -oh. and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. 1-1 one, one on the way. Smack the opposite way now, and this should give him at least two bases. Oh, and he runs right through the stop sign. And the runner will score from first. Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on the RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2 nothing with another base hit. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Stepping in now, Chris Nelson. And a bouncing ball, foul. Has a look, now the pitch. That's taken, now it's 0-2. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Here's Latos now on 0-2. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to 2 to nothing now. Well, this is just a case of taking care of business right here. He drove in a run with the RBI triple. Then he gets driven in himself on the RBI ground out. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Now the first pitch. 
And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And now's where he can't get discouraged out there. He's still pitching well, only down 2 nothing. Still plenty of time left to turn it around. Now the 1-0 pitch. Up top, it's 2-0. Utley waits. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Call to strike there, 2-1. Now the 2 1. And a strike on the fastball. So from 2 0, oh, it's 2 and 2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the 2 and 2 offering. And this misses now as Latos runs the count full to 3 and 2. Darren Ruff waits on deck. Payoff pitch coming. And Utley's able to reach base as he takes a look at ball four. That's an easy take right there on the 3-2 pitch. Not all that inviting at all. You want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead now, he's on with one away. Darren Ruff will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Hey, double him up! Here's the first offering. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. So after the strong five innings, things have not come as easily for him here in inning number six. Well, this is kind of the M.O. of this lineup. They have a way of just wearing you down. And they're starting to get into some better counts to hit. And that work's paying off. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Two runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. One, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here he comes on two and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. That slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt. As you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Ryan Howard will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. I don't think he's going to want to throw that pitch in that same location again ever in his life to this guy. He's set. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. One one pitch on the way nope. down low two balls and a strike and he needs to get back to what he was doing earlier in the game which was getting ahead of guys and throwing a lot of strikes. Ah, you're overrated. Now the two one pitch he's nope. fallen behind now three and one. Yeah and you know what you've got a better matchup on deck here with two outs. So on three and one now, they may not take any chances with this guy. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Now the three one home and they won't come after Howard this time as it misses for ball four. Well, when you're already in a deep hole, the last thing you want to do is keep digging. 
but the walk here is only going to make things worse. Well, now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And that'll be the end of the evening now for Matt Latos. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Aaron Crow trot in from the bullpen as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two out. Carlos Ruiz will see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Now here's the first pitch. Too low, 1-0. and Here's the 1-0. And this one's on the inside corner, 1-1. One and one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. The 1-1. One, one. Hit pretty well as this is out toward deep center. And Colvin will put this one away and that ends the inning. So two runs on two base hits. No errors. And two left. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Philadelphia is on top, two to nothing. Ichiro Suzuki to stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the six. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Fastball in there for a called strike. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far and well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Now the one one home to Ichiro. Now here's a ground ball that will get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Martin Prado will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. First pitch, and Ichiro's running. Pitch misses the throw down, and it won't be in time as Ichiro's able to take second with ease. We've already seen it. the ball's not really traveling all that well here tonight, so both these managers might start thinking, we got to shake it up a little here offensively. So they turn him loose here, and he's in the scoring position with the stolen base. The 1 0 home. And this is in the air to straightaway right. We'll see if it's enough to get that runner to third. Frank Coeur has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. First baseman, number 10, Jeff Baker. Jeff Baker will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. First pitch coming. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. The next pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Here comes the 2-0. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2-1. and one. 
Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. 2-1. 3 and 1 now. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Lee looks in as he readies pitch number 73 here in the ball game. The 3-1 homeward now from Lee. Oh, he goes right with the fastball, and this is stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. And he's going to get there with a one-out triple. The second hit of the ball game for him right there. This one's an RBI triple, and he's in scoring position himself with just one away. Here's Echeverria now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Here's the 1-0. Here Two balls, no strikes now. Batting with one out and a runner at third. Oof. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up. and That's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Miami, Miami, now the 2-0. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. The 2-1 home. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. One out and a runner on third. 2-2. Two, two. And this is hit well towards the hole. Dive, but it's in and out of the glove, and the run should score. And they'll tie the ball game if the run scores, evening things at two. Colvin will stand in. He's one for two so far. First offering on the way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Runner at first here with one away in a 2-2 ball game. From the belt kicks and deals and he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike and maybe that's off the black just a little bit but when you're around the plate as much as he's been you're going to find that you're going to get a few calls like that now the one one and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right and that is off the wall in right field. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. I'm sitting up here thinking that once this ball gets down to the corner, it was going to be easy two bases. But he decided better of it rounding first, and he's going to hold on there with just a loud single. Standing in now. JT Real Muto, swing and a liner, but foul. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's 1-2. and two. Boy, and right here, just a ground ball is going to get you a run. And more than that, 
it gets to the lead in this game. So you've got to find a way to put that ball in play. Runners are at first and third, one away. The one-two home from Lee. Misses, ball two. The 2-2 two -two coming. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the go-ahead run will score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 3-2 ball game. That's a nice job there to get this ball airborne. He's able to get that ball out there deep enough to pick up their third run of the inning. Jordani Valdespin will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. First pitch coming. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. You get the sense that things are starting to get away from him a bit out there. It all comes from falling behind hitters and then having to come in there with something good to hit. That's going to get you every time. The 1-0 pitch. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. I, I think he's going out there right now just to remind his guy, hey, this is the number eight hitter up there. No reason to, to work the edges. You just come right after him. Come on, Miami. Ice cream. Three runs already home here. The 2 0. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here it comes, 2 and 1. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, they are really sticking it to him right here. That's the fifth hit he's coughed up in this inning alone. And you gotta believe that that leash is getting a little bit shorter with each passing batter. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound, and a change will be forthcoming as that's gonna do it tonight for Cliff Lee. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Justin DeFreitas will come on now, and can you believe it? This will be his 100th appearance of the season. That's got to be one tired arm. Donovan Solano will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 17, Donovan Solano. in there at the letters 0 and 1. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Two men are on with two men out. Miami! Miami! He waits, Miami! now the pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Here we go. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. A big pitch here. One and two. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And the run will score from second as they double him up now. It's four to two. And it's in time, and he's out at the plate. So one runs across, but the second one is cut down trying to score. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Phillies two. Welcome back to South Florida. It's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. 
Tony Watson will come on in relief now, and he'll be making appearance number 80 on the season thus far. Jeff Francoeur will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, him, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One and one. One ball, one strike. Ready now on one and one. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. You know, this guy's been a savior out of the bullpen for this team so far this season. His ERA is under two coming into play, and he gets the first man to greet him right here. Freddie Galvis will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Here's a 1-0. That's wide, 2-0. And, oh. and I think with no one on base, you know, this is a guy you need to come after. I certainly wouldn't be afraid to give him a fastball here. Here comes the 2-0. And he has a cut at that one, but misses 2-1. and one. Oh, and he's sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee-high to ankle-high in the matter of about five feet. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. Here's the two and one pitch. In there, two and two. Now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out what would I throw on a two and two pitch. The two two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. He knows the drill out there. You got to make him swing the bat and not be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. Three two here it comes. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. From a knee, he gets him. What a play. On a ball hit like that, if you're the pitcher, you're thinking, oh, base hit. But not this time. What tremendous defense out there. Great diving stop, makes the play and gets the out. And the pitcher acknowledges it, and he's happy about it. Cody Ashey will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. One zero on the way. Chopper foul. The 1-1. One, one. 
Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ready on two and one. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Now the 2-2 pitch. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. Boy, you have got to make this guy swing the bat here on this next pitch. This is not the guy you want to lose. Three two pitch. Boy really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Now the pitch. Now a fair ball chopped up the line to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, four to two. Genmar Gomez will get the ball now, as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Genmar Gomez. D. Gordon will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Second baseman, D. Gordon. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. But the throw will be in time at first, so he's denied the base hit on a bunt attempt. Oh, man, what a terrific play right there. That ball was rolling, and it stayed low, so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab, then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here's Ichiro now. As he swings at the first pitch and lifts a fly ball out to left field. Rough. Is underneath this one, and that's out number two. And this is music to a manager's ears here. After he watched his club give up four runs in an inning go, this guy's come in and got two quick outs to start the next inning. Martin Prado will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far, over three to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one, usually a major force in their offense. And here's the first pitch. Oh. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Come on, Miami. The 1 0. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Two out, nobody on. Now the one and one pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The right hander deals on one and two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Utley. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Miami down in order, but they still lead this one four to two. Ben Revere will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Center fielder, number two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch coming. 
And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. This man out for his second inning of work. Did a nice job getting them 1 2 3 last time around. Yeah, but that was against the 7 8 9 guys. Things may be a little more difficult here now that he has to face the top three in the lineup. 1 0 on the way. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2 0. You got to think one thing here. Get on base. A walk will do the trick. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here comes the 2 1. Nope. Now a slider misses and that pushes the count to 3 and 1. And down by 2, you better believe they'll take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner. Three one coming. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Maybe you worry about this guy getting a little too slider happy. That's three in a row now, so you're giving that guy at the plate a pretty good look at. It. Here's the three two pitch. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three. As they'll need to throw to first here. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Chris Nelson will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way. Now a little tapper here up the first baseline. Pro gets him, two down. Eighth inning here from South Florida as you get a look at the line score to this point. The hometown Marlins leading this one as they look to send this crowd home happy. Chase Utley will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. Here's the first offering. This is well struck. High and deep toward the left field corner. Gone! A clutch home run as they narrow the gap here in the late inning. Solo shot that time from Chase Utley. Home run number 15 for him thus far as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Oh man, that's just a great job right there going with that pitch. And I don't know if he really meant to hit this ball down the line or not, but he'll probably say that he did. Either way, he's going to take it as you see this thing bonk off the left field foul pole. That's a home run. A.J. Ramos will enter the ball game out of the pen as he'll look to get the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Into the box, Darren Ruff as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. And now a pitch on the way. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Here's the pitch. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. One for the Phils, and it comes courtesy of this home run by Chase Utley. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Marlins four and the Phillies three. 
Jeff Baker will stand in. He tripled homer run his last time. Now the first pitch. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Here it comes. Okay. Oh, another sinker here, and he's got it working for him now. 0-2. Oh One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Frank Coor won't have a play. It's a foul ball. Here's another one, too. Slice down the line at first. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself for the first down. This guy's one of those unsung type pitchers. He's not the setup guy, he's not the closer, but these are the guys that keep you in the ball games. And he's doing the job here. A Danny Echevarria will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch to him. First pitch here is another ground ball. This one over to third base. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Well, they're hitting him, I guess, but they're just not making solid contact. Here's another easy out, and he's just had his way with these guys since coming in here. In now, Tyler Colvin. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. 4-3 our score here as we play the 8. Now the 1-0. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Throw on to the first baseman Howard and with that the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Marlins. Then it remains a 4-3 game. Steve Ciszek is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Ryan Howard will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Nothing, now Howard waits on the 1-0. Oh. And 2-0 okay. oh now as this misses below the knees. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. Now the 2-0 home. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul 2-1. and one. And the pitch. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Down by a run. Your guys need you on base any way you can get there. Now you got to shrink that strike zone down and not go after anything that's not right there for you. The three one. Here's a ball swung on and lost it in the air out toward right center. And not the start they were hoping for as the leadoff man is kept off base to start the ninth. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. 
And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Carlos Ruiz will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. That's a pitch you really have to learn to take against a guy like this. But even if you make contact, you're just going to get something in on the label. So that's a great take. 1-0 pitch now. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Oh, and even though that's not intentional, as a hitter, you still hate to see that ball up around your eyes. Here he comes on two and one. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. Two two pitch on the way. Oh, this ball's laced and it's going to get down into the right center field gap. Around first on his way to second now. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Now that's the at bat they needed. Base is empty, one out already, down one in the ninth. He's got to find a way to get on base somehow, some way. And this is going to set up a fantastic finish as he's all the way into scoring position now on that double. Cesar Hernandez will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Cesar Hernandez. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. Runner at second here with one man out. He's set. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. All right, now you're looking at no way for them to manufacture a run, really. There's a guy on third now, but two outs. That really wasn't all that helpful. Freddie Galvis step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance of redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first is going to be in time to take care of him. And the Marlins have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Well, you know he's going to want to hold on to that baseball. That gives him an even 50 saves for the season. Nothing short of a tremendous year. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player at the game award. But what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it, it's nice to have someone like this that you can call on to finish things out for you. And he came on to slam the door shut. 
So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The Marlins win it 4-3. Good night from Miami.